Hi, welcome to another video. So, if you've been following the channel, then you'll know that I covered a way in which you can incorporate your knowledge base in Klein and also create a coding helper that basically accepts your custom knowledge base, such as documentation or even web search, and creates a markdown file that you can reference in Ader, Klein, RuCode, or anything else to provide your custom context. Now, since DeepSeek R1 has launched, I thought I'd tell you how you can do all this with the new R1 model, or O3 Mini, enhance it even more, and create your own advanced AI coding helper. Just for context, let me explain what we are going to do. Generally, we have something like Ader, Klein, Windsurf, or Cursor, and most of these allow you to give it a URL. However, usually it doesn't work as well, and you cannot correctly edit what context it takes and what it doesn't. But what if we create an AI agent that can search the web while also allowing us to incorporate custom PDFs and knowledge for reference? Then, we can ask it to generate a markdown file based on our specific query using our custom knowledge base or web search, which is quite cool and I use this a lot for proper referencing. Technically, you can make all this work with a bunch of code and stuff, but I just prefer to do it with vector shift. If you aren't familiar with vector shift, it basically allows you to combine a bunch of blocks or nodes, such as knowledge bases or web scrapers, with an LLM like DeepSeek R1 and customize it to your liking. It has a variety of blocks that you can combine, and create pipelines to suit your needs. I already have several videos on it, and it's really great. Plus, it also has a free tier, which I use. They have recently changed many things, making it even better to use. First of all, just get yourself signed up and come to the pipeline option. There are several other options as well, but pipeline is the major element upon which everything else relies. Anyway, here we need to create a pipeline. You can also take a base from the marketplace if you want, but let's try it out from scratch. Now, let's start configuring it to our liking. First of all, we'll need an input. Then, we take that input and connect it to an LLM. For the LLM, I'll be using Perplexity, specifically the Reasoning Pro model, because it uses the DeepSeek R1 model and also add search functionalities to it. This means that we won't need to add an extra Google search node. I just need basic LLM capabilities because it's simply going to process data and convert it to Markdown. Now, we can send it to an output node. That's the basic setup. But we also need the option to add custom knowledge bases because most of us generally have some project requirements or documentation that need to be incorporated as well. Adding a knowledge base is quite simple. You just need to drag in the knowledge base node, and once you do that, you can select any previously created knowledge base. If you don't have one, simply create a new knowledge base with a name. Once you have done that, you can add your PDFs, documents, or even web page URLs. After adding the desired content to your knowledge base, connect it correctly in your pipeline. To connect it, you just remove the main input, then add your variable here. You need to add two variables, one for the prompt and one for the context. Then, just connect them. Also, make sure you add a little text to tell the LLM what they are. This is super cool. Now, our assistant can perform simple web searches, reference our knowledge base, and even scrape URLs, because Perplexity can do that easily. Then run your prompt on that data, convert everything to Markdown, and provide us with the output. Since our system is now set up, we can hit the Export button. Here, we can create an automation, chatbot, form, or anything we might want. I made it a chatbot, 
and the chatbot you create can also be integrated into WhatsApp or Slack, and you can obviously use it with an API and such. Additionally, you can use it as a chatbot embedded in your application easily. Today, I'll be using the API because I want to create a coding assistant that can run in the terminal and use the API to write the output to a markdown file. So, I took the API, which you can find by clicking the pipeline and then clicking the API option, and then I asked ChatGPT to modify it into a Python program. This program takes the input interactively and saves the output from the API to a markdown file as specified by the user. This is the program I received. And now when I run it, you can see that it asks me for a prompt. Once I input everything, it creates the markdown file that references the knowledge base, performs a web search, or even scrapes URLs. Plus, you can change the workflow however you want and even incorporate GitHub issues, Google Drive data, or anything else. To reference it in Klein, you can just create a Klein rules file and instruct it to always reference the context markdown file every time. This will ensure that Klein, RuCode, or even Cursor always reads the file first and then takes the context from there. Alternatively, you can mention directly in the prompt that it should take the context from inside the file, which is also fine. This is basically how you can use it. It works well, and I really like it because after the markdown file is created, we can edit it, and not only that, we can also make it reference custom documentation and even generate examples from documentation that does not exist. And R1 is really good at that. You can also configure the workflow to your liking. For example, if you want it to reference issues in Airtable, Google Sheets, or anything else, it can reference that data as well. And you can also make your custom end-to-end -end workflows and stuff like that as well, if that's needed. You can also make any similar other workflow that is suited for your need, as it's not just limited to coding. You can make a simple chatbot that talks to you about your document, or maybe does something more complex via a more complex kind of workflow. You can build your own custom knowledge base with as much URLs, documents, and everything. VectorShift has a ton of integration, and everything is drag and drop, which makes it even cool to use. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.